following her <coughs> theme. The last time. The last time he rolled over on his side, he slipped off the pillows, propping his head just high enough to breathe as if this tiny altitude would save him. The rubber oxygen mask, so like his swimming gear, slid this way and that. His garbled words, so unintelligible, we cried. If I leave this house, I'm not coming back. And I said, no, you will be back. And he said, no, I don't want to leave. And I said, you will be back. He stood for the last time, pulled his socks on, wrapped his Indian chief bathrobe tight, <laughs> padded across the lit lawn, circled by neighbors, knowing what he knew. Thank you. Um, this is a little pre-Valentine. Love stuck. I jogged to the Borghese Gardens, past the zoo's furless creatures, bound up the steps to Cardinal Scipione's Galleria, catch a glimpse of the Bernini sculptures, assuming their positions on pedestals, in time to gape at us studying them. They've returned breathless from a Bacchanalian feast, careful not to stain their marble bodies with the blood-rich wine. I imagine Apollo rushing Daphne, who will never be caught, in her desire to stay pure and free. Like nosy neighbors, the sculptures follow the drama, throw their heads back, recall yesterday's spectators, peering up Apollo's crotch, wrapped by Daphne's fingers, metamorphosed into laurel leaves that clutch the warmest part of his smooth marble body, staking her claim forever. Two minutes. Okay. Keep it going, baby. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna read one from my husband's book because I'm reading his book and I love this poem and I'm not sure why I like this poem. But, <laughs> um, this is from Stone Walls, Bill for Johnny. Second grade. I sit in the back of Miss Bruno's class, don't know anyone, don't hear a word she's saying. My stomach hurts. She starts asking kids questions. I twitch, but I keep my head down. Suddenly, I'm seized by an urge to scream. The urge grows stronger. I fight hard to drive it out of my head. But the more I try, the stronger it grows until before I know it, I'm shouting, ah! Kids laugh. Miss Bruno stares at me. What's wrong, Gilbert? <laughs> Nothing, I mumble. After class, she says, your behavior is unacceptable. I won't tolerate yelling in class. I remember her sour breath, her phlegmy voice, the hair snaking out of her nostrils, a black stump in the bottom row of her teeth. I never scream again. Oh. Mm. 